Hi guys, today we are going to discuss how to execute a shell script in the Jenkins. So as of now, you know how to execute, uh, how to create a job in the Jenkins, how to installation steps. So we gone through a lot of videos. Like, this is the time you need to understand about the shell script. So before creating a job, first how to create the shell script in your local, that shell script will automate in the Jenkins job okay so let me quickly open ubuntu machine okay this is my virtual box uh, like i will create one test folder make directory uh, jenkins uh, scripts okay i'm creating one folder just i'm navigating okay here we'll create one shell script file how to create there are two ways you can create shell script file by using vi editor and by using ge edit if you are comfortable with gu application i mean there is a uh, like a notepad gui will be there by using ge edit you can do either you can do in this way also okay for what i will do i will take first script dot sh i'm giving the file name as a first script okay through terminal i am doing just click on i that means it is in inset mode if you type on i okay now let me okay if you are feeling uh, this is a very difficult table by shell scripting then what you can do just you go and uh, i will explain in uh, through ge edit i will explain for you okay so ge edit so uh, first script dot sh okay so your shell script will be uh, your file will be open here you need to create how you need to create shell script means using you need if you want to run the shell script you need to add one bang bash operator people say bin slash bash this is, we can call as a uh, bang bash command you can say this is the first statement should be there if you want to run the shell script without this statement the shell script won't run okay now simple what i will do first i will print some hello world okay you, how to print hello world to jenkins job you know if you know how to execute the shell script then it will be a good what i will do uh, i will take uh, my username okay first i will do hello world okay hello world just i'm printing hello world and just i'm saving simple then after that we'll add some few more things uh, runtime arguments how to add we'll see just save and close okay now if you see if you do ls minus l uh, now if you want to run this shell script how you will run dot means root directory current directory root under first script you need to execute if you run here what will happen just check it is saying permission denied that means you need to give execute permission for your shell script how to give permission means you can give ch mode plus x first script dot sh if you give if you observe ls minus l there is a color is also changed see x is there this, that means this is executable permissions user group and others user has read axis write axis and execute permission also we have okay now if you run here hello world it is printed right now same thing i will execute this script in the jenkins job okay how to execute will go here i will create the new item uh, you can give as a first script job i'm giving the project name as a first script and click ok okay now if you come down here okay shell script will add shell script execute shell okay here what i will do you need to give a proper path to your shell script okay if you go here if you don't know the path give the pwd current working directory you will get okay this is your current working directory just copy and paste it here nothing else it's very easy to run a shell script first script dot sh okay click apply and save okay now i will build now if i build see the job is succeed if you see and console output see hello world 
it is printed so this is the process uh, you need to execute your shell script in the next session i will explain how to add a dynamic parameters to your shell script we'll change shell script file once you are good then we'll add uh, parameters for your job okay i hope you guys are clear uh, we'll see in the next session thank you guys